Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, well, back here at the trailhead down near James River. Ended up doing a zero there at Stanimals. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, nice little place. Uh, Charlie is a fantastic manager. A lot of fun. Uh, definitely have a good time. Uh, not only do they have lodging op options, he's got slack packing options and things like that. So a lot of the, well, actually everybody else was doing the slack pack stuff today. Uh, and going back there, I was the only one that was coming back here to the trailhead and marching on, which I kind of feel like a dumbass because there's a ton of elevation to go up, and some of it evidently is kind of steep. Hey, welcome to the Appalachian Trail. Uh, well, enough gabbing. Let's get moving. <coughs> wow. All right, we're at an important spot right now. This, uh, well, they call it a brook. I don't, I don't know what the difference is between a brook and a stream and a spring and a, you know, whatever. Uh, but this little creek here, this is the last water source for almost 10 miles. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mix up a liquid IV in this and slam it and uh, going to carry an additional two liters of water with me. Not full capacity, but I think an additional two liters would be fine which roughly comes out to be about four and a half pounds of additional weight. So for the climbs today, not, not only we've got a full complement of food, but extra water weight as well. Uh, so I'm going to do what they call cameling up, which means drinking a whole bunch of water and getting your capacity down. And uh, then we'll get back on trail and get moving. One of the things I like about the Hydro Flask bottles uh, that I replace my uh, be free uh, bag with is that they've got different attachment points and they've got a handle and stuff like that and so just a little carabiner that I can hook off to my pack right there will keep this upright in that side pouch uh, just very handy or I could put the carabiner on here and strap it off maybe to the top of my pack just very handy options okay heading up the trail here to Little Rocky Row uh, we're just starting to enter a series of switchbacks. You know, a little bit less than uh, 900 feet of elevation to go. Uh, hopefully the switchbacks will be nice and gradual. But uh, it's a quiet day in the forest, except for that woodpecker. Just got to the top of uh, what's a little rocky row and uh, just taking a little break. It's a nice little climb coming up here, probably at least a thousand feet in elevation. Um, <clears throat> so we got a little bit of flat and ups and downs, and uh, then we head over to uh, Big Bluff or something like that. But that's going to be another big climb um, once we get over, over that, and it's more or less climbs for the day a lot of a lot of the rest of it's downhill uh well yeah so we're just taking our time it's only uh a little bit after 9 30. yeah we'll get there when we get there So we've got a nice little spot here to have lunch. Uh, it's right here in the Blue Ridge Parkway. Nice thing is there's a trash can over there. I can put everything that I don't have to take with me. Uh, and just 
down the trail a little bit is the uh, the, the water source. Um, yeah, things are going pretty good today. Um, I think I have all the big climbs out of the way. So hopefully the rest of the day is going to be cruisy. Um, probably having 10, 11 miles, something like that. It's a little bit after 1 o'clock. So uh, I haven't really looked at where I'd want to stop today. But I'm just, you know what, I'm going to play it by ear. Uh, I've seen a lot of... Uh, a lot of campsites, you know, as I was coming this way. Uh, so probably I'll see more as I head out. Um, you know, maybe I'll just walk until I don't want to walk anymore, and I'll just pick a spot and set up. Uh, it's not like I need to get anywhere and, you know, get my tent set up so it can dry out or anything like that. I mean, everything's nice and drying, as clean as, somewhat clean. Um... So, no big rush. Uh, so, sitting here eating lunch. Got my cold-soaked ramen noodles. I had a star-kissed buffalo chicken pouch. Got some almonds. Uh, let's see what else here. Cheese and crackers. And the big money. Tasty Cake Junior for dessert. Oh, Coconut Junior, baby. Loving it. That's my lunch. So... Uh, bigger than, than normal, bigger than what my normal lunches are, but I think I'm starting to carry more food, uh, in order to do something like that, to eat more. Just find myself pretty freaking hungry at times. All right, well, uh, I'm going to finish up my lunch and, uh, get some more footage as we move down the trail. So I'm just walking along in the forest and next thing you know, this happens. Bam. 800, baby. <laughs> Another boingy bridge. So, kind of uh, missed my turn. Had to backtrack a little bit. Uh, I'm actually on the old Appalachian Trail right now. Uh, going down to where I want to camp tonight. It's down along this creek, river, stream, whatever. It's got cascades and all that. But there's campsites there and it's supposed to be beautiful. Uh, that's where I want to camp out tonight. I'm less than a mile out from it. Uh, but it feels kind of cool to get back on an old trail here. I'm almost doing like a little bushwhacking. Uh, pretty neat. And uh, I'm really hoping this campsite is going to be uh, something worthwhile. You know, my other alternative was like going towards the, uh, the shelter. All right, so I'll show some video once we get there. So this is it for the night right here. Uh, shit, I think I'm gonna get naked, get down that water. Turn the camera off for that. All right, so the, uh, the plan for tomorrow is uh, 
Definitely not going to double back. I, I cannot stand hiking the same terrain twice. Um, so I'll check it out in the morning. I could ford right over here at the base of the Cascades. It gets a little deep, but there's a big rock right there. Uh, so I could, you know, have my pack and ford over there and then scramble up the side of the mountain. Uh, it looks pretty doable. And I think that's the trail, maybe. I mean, the trail should go that way. The other thing is past this broken down bridge, uh, I can ford the creek right here. And then looks like I might be able to, to go up to basically where the other end of the bridge is. Uh, here, I'll show you. So I'm looking at, you know, fording down here, getting through that pile of debris, and then going up to there. Uh, I'm not going to do what one asshole said on Gut Hook was, they walked across a bridge. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, holy cow. Couldn't ask for a better campsite. Um, the water was nice and brisk. Yes, very brisk. Have things hanging up, drying out right now. And it was refreshing. Uh, so for dinner, got some uh, Mountain House chicken and dumplings I picked up from Walmart. I decided to treat myself and uh, waiting for those to rehydrate. And that's the, uh, the big plan for tonight. Probably going to watch some movies. Uh, downloaded uh, two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I'll probably watch that. All right, folks. Uh, if I don't get back with you later, talk to you soon.